Well, morning viewers. Glad you can join me today back in the uh, Mazzy House. Well, as you can see, just giving them a bit of a, a water. Mazzies do like um, the leaves getting wet. Not all the time. It's not too cold a day today. So I'll just uh, give them a soak. Then we'll have a look around the green ass and see what what we've got in bloom, what's coming on, what's putting spikes on. But what I really want to say is I want to thank all the viewers and new subscribers who's joined the channel and to all those that's purchased Mazda Valleys out of the shop. Um, it's been amazing this year, quite early. Um, I'm updating the shop every two weeks. I've took a load of uh, divisions now of Draculas and I'll be putting them on over the coming season. So let me finish this and we'll get in to um, having a look at what we've got in bloom. What's in spike, what's doing well and what's doing not so well. So give us a second. greenhouse tour today because um, I've got uh, quite a few mazzies and draculas pleurothaloids in this greenhouse it's it's getting difficult really to move around and certainly it's a standard camera up. Um, if you remember I've replaced that panel up here um, that was damaged in that wind so I put a new panel up I've got uh, shade netting on there these draculas hanging at this end um, these are the ones that I struggled with um, last year and i've noticed i've moved them higher up now and i'm giving them a bit more light than the book says but if you don't try you're never going to learn are you so i put these um to give them a bit more light and this is uh dracula chesitonii you can see we've got four four decent spikes coming i don't know if there's any around the back i can't really get around the back but all these have really improved there's a spike coming bottom of that one there um, and that's uh, earth achete got a lot of new growth coming on it nice looking dracula when that's in bloom um, i have to look up here at the labels what's this one uh, venifica venifica struggle but if you look in the center if i can get the camera in there there's a lot of new growth coming on Venifica this year and I'm not sure if it's because I've given more light or not but again this one a lot of new growth coming and that is uh, Felix but a nice looking plant now I've just got a couple of yellowing leaves that's dying back this one really died back and it's uh, Polyphemus um, you can tell look at it but since I've given it a bit of light and I've moved it, it's doing well. So I don't know if if the light's helping these or not, but it, it's what I'm giving them. Um, we've still got, uh, I think this is uh, Coccinia hariana, I'm sure it is. In fact, I can't find where it's from. Yeah, it is. Coccinia hariana. Just got water splash marks on now, but a beautiful coccinia. Uh, very deep pink. It's a beautiful plant. Uh, below that, I've still got, well, it's going over now, is uh, Vichania Prince de Gal. And you've seen that before. Um, another thing that I've done, my uh, Pleurothallis restrepioides, this one. Um, I've kept that on the bottom shelves for a few years now, and I've decided to hang it and again i've hung it in this corner 
where it gets a bit more light and look at the size look at it it's blasting away and I can't believe it blasting away yeah down this end I've got another uh, Ariana coccinia Ariana it's got to uh, one two uh, another spike down here coming if you can see that try and get it out a third spike down there coming these are all coccinia alba all tangling up just look at them beauties coccinia alba and that's got one two three four five uh, six spikes on it but everything's looking okay um, I mean I, I've got a lot of yellowing leaves um, at this moment in time uh, I, canna. I know um, Lynn has got one of these in bloom at the moment but um, I've got a spike on it so hopefully we'll catch up and be able to share that with you um, this one this is a tatty plant look at the state of this plant I mean I've had this now for 12 months it's meze um, a bit of a weird and wonderful mazzy but um, just a terrible looking plant and somehow I've knocked a bud off but it is uh, a nice looking little plant. Good old uh, Ignea still pushing up uh, a few spikes over there. I think we've got another Coccinia alba here. We've got three blooms on that. Um, this one down here, this is, um, I swapped this plant for a Mazzy oh, a few years back now. And it pops up and I never know what it was. And I put this on um, Instagram and a viewer commented on Instagram and said it was um, Wilson Aurea, I believe. Now, I don't know if that is or not, but it's a beautiful dark, I would say really dark purpley colour. But it's going over now, but um, it's looking okay. I've got a few flower spikes coming on there, so lodging it at the back down there. Um, not a great deal to share with you today, but I have got um, a lot of buds coming, some down here, and that again is one that's um, bloomed in the past for us. But yeah, everything's looking not too bad. I can't say it's doing brilliant, I'd say it's not doing too bad. Um, we've seen these before. You can see on this one, look, I've still got a problem. I would say a bit of slug damage on that. I'm not sure, but a beautiful mazzy anyway. And I've still got to take off some dead inflorescent spikes. I've got to take off um, and get these done. What's this one? That looks like another coccinia about to open down there. But what I really wanted to show you was some of these um, Draculas that I've got coming up. So give us a sec. Well, I'm sure you've noticed as well, viewers, that uh, I've had my hair cut. I fell under a lawnmower, but uh, yeah, I wanted it cut. And if you look here at the back of me, Phalaenopsis, always blooms. Too cold in this greenhouse for Phalaenopsis, but it always blooms. Chucks me a few flowers out something to look at when I come in here so let's crack on well what I wanted to share with you today was some of these draculas that um, I've got growing in here I mean I've increased my draculas over the winter period from people I know and I've purchased more draculas and I've also took a lot of divisions the second row if I can get down here with the camera you can see all them they're all Draculas that uh, are coming on that I intend to put in the shop because obviously you don't want um, two or three of the same Dracula. 
this one here is uh, Deltoidia. Um, it's one of the, it's a cracking looking plant if you look at it, lovely looking plant. Um, very dainty little blooms. I don't know if I'm going to get into that to have a good look at that, but I'll try and do a better picture of that. But they're very dainty little blooms. Got a few spikes on it. One here, blasted. Um, yeah, but they're all looking uh, decent now. They're coming on. I've just noticed another, another one here with a couple of spikes on them. What's this one? That's Bella. I know Roger's got a Bella. Um, but yeah, that's putting a few spikes out. That's looking okay. Nice looking plant as well. I'll try and move the camera down behind this first row. It, it, it's getting more difficult to share these uh, videos nowadays because, as I said, I've put more plants in the greenhouse. And the, to be honest, the greenhouse just isn't big enough now. And I think we all say that. We all grow orchids, but, you know, we're never happy with what we've got. Um, down there's my Sologen. It's going over now. It's been in bloom for, oh, got to be well over a month and a half. But they're all around the back as well. Lovely plant. It's coming on brilliantly, that is, since I've uh, first got it. But um, as you can see, the flowers are all going over now so not long before I take them spikes off so what else have I got in here there's another I've got them hanging everywhere you see there's another Dracula down here the trouble is with this one I hang it down here out of the way and it's a division Barry I um, I tend to miss it when I'm watering because I put them everywhere just to get get them in this greenhouse you know I've got my um, casea up there, um, no blooms at the moment, but again if you go to Lynn's channel, Lynn's got casea in bloom at the moment, so hopefully we may well. Up there is a, a mounted uh, pleurothallis, um, doing okay, mounted, again I've moved it up, it's near the ceiling hopefully trying to give it a little bit more light because I think my shading was um, heavy last year. The shading at the moment, if I, if I pan around a little bit, you can see I've got 75% shading on now. I've got um, the 50, which you've seen me do on a video, and I've put a 25 on top of the 50. So I've got 75% shade netting on this greenhouse now. And I'm hoping this year um, it'll do a lot better. Um, I've kept the temperatures throughout the winter at uh, between 10 and 12 degrees. So, you know, for all those who keep asking what temperatures I've got in here, I've got it's about 10 or 12 degrees. At the moment, it's saying on that, you're not going to see that it's going to flash. It's saying it's about 16.6 .6 in here and uh, about 83% humidity. Um, I'm just trying to trying to show you one. This is one of my Bilbo Phylums. But if you look at the back, you can just see that spike going up there. Right to more or less to the top of the greenhouse. That is uh, another Vichyana. A nice big plant. Nice big plant on that Vichyana. But a um, bit late in the year, for really, because most of my Vichyanas have already bloomed and I missed filming a lot of them. This little beauty down here is um, a nice mazzy. I've got a couple of blooms on it. Um, one not open yet. It looks like a yellow cross in it, but it's called uh, Datura Cross Copper Angel. It's a hybrid. Um, not a bad looking plant. Nice little mazzy to have in your collection. I mean, anybody who grows mazzies knows that. Um, you want as many as you can in your collection because they, they are amazing. It's just that they all bloom at different times of the year. A lot of people think that because they're all should flower in the winter. No, they don't flower in the winter. 
some of these mazes flower in the summer some some mazes flower in the autumn and we do get a few in the winter and at the moment look at it in spring and we've got a hell of a lot of um, spikes coming up so i'll be able to show you them in a few weeks time so let me find something else to show you and um, for the people who's been asking what else i'm growing here i've got another this is a uh, selogeny frimbiata i believe but as you can see a lot of new growth appearing on it there as well you know nice looking uh plant i had that in a basket for quite a while ago and the only reason i've only took again is i wanted to give it a bit more light so i only took put it up here and it seems to be um liking it at the moment if it does get too uh warm or starts looking scorched then obviously i'll remove it down again but you've got to give it the benefit of the doubt you've got to learn and a lot of orchid growing is about personal experience how you grow them how you want them to grow and not depend on people like like myself on a youtube channel i'm not telling anybody how to grow mazda valleys i'm just saying this is how i grow them and the my mazda valleys so i can do trial and error sometimes i get it right sometimes i get it wrong you know it's all about your own personal experiences how you want to grow your orchids i mean i watch so many channels at the moment on youtube where they're showing you the best way to do this the best way to do that i don't follow any of them to be honest all i do is trial and error and do it my way and this is how i want to grow my orchids so what you're going to get off this channel if you subscribe to the channel and don't forget Give us a thumbs up sometimes it really helps the channel what you're going to get from this channel is how i grow my mazes i'll show you the blooms i've already done how i pot in my potting media um, how i divide them i've done all the videos so if you want to check back to all the videos you can do um, you know how i've even mounted them that one there's got a lot of new growth coming on a mount a lot of people again said Mazda Valleys don't do very well on a mount. Well, these are Mazda Valleys and they're on mounts and they're looking all right to me. This one here probably looks a bit, but looking deep in there, these are the yellowing old leaves. Look at the other leaves, looking fine. Even a patchy Oreo mounted it and that's doing all right. So it's down to everybody's personal preferences what you do with your orchids you know don't always think that by watching youtube you've got everything right they haven't got everything right sometimes unfortunately they're the same as all of us it's trial and error and they're trying to make things um they're trying to show you how they grow them right I'll call it a day today viewers uh, thanks very much for watching I'm sorry it's a short video but um, there's not a great deal to show you around the uh, Mazzy House and um, for that for them new people who have subscribed and joined the channel don't forget I also do videos on my Nepenthes my Highland Nepenthes and I do videos on my um, Venus flytraps um, my Dionia Musapulla so there's a variety um, for viewers to watch my main hobby is these Mazda Valleys but I've got other things now that I do to share with you so feel free subscribe I love it when people subscribe we're getting on for we've got over 2,000 now anyway so there's a lot of people interested in Mazzies and the carnivorous plants that I also grow so follow me join me on another video shortly i'll do one in the uh, nepenthes house then we'll go in to see the uh, venus fly traps so until then viewers take care thanks for watching stay safe and i'll see you all on the next one bye for now